That means the first day of school for four counties now across the first coast in southeast Georgia. Let's start in southeast Georgia where Charlton and Pierce counties will go back today. So good morning, Folkston. Good morning, Blackshear and all the neighbors. And in northeast Florida, it's the first day for Bradford and Baker counties. And whether students are going back to the classroom or doing the learning online, the virtual learning, it is the first day for everyone involved. So let's get them going. Let's get them up right and raring to go pumped up for a new school year. Leah Shields live in Baker County with the options students have there. Good morning, Leah. Good morning, Lou. Yes, not every student will be returning back to in person classes today. Of course, that virtual option is available. It's called Baker Virtual Classroom and the superintendent tells me that they really worked on it to make it more like being in the classroom and just a better virtual option than it was last semester. Superintendent Rollerson says the virtual school will be more rigorous than last year, but Rollerson is in favor of kids returning to school in person if they can. We know that that's the best that, that, that our children uh, can receive is that face-to-face, -face. but if you have a family that needs the other, we have that option too. I spoke with the superintendent a few weeks ago as teachers prepared their classrooms. Signs are going up to inform students of social distancing guidelines, good hygiene, and encouraging students to wear a mask, though it is optional in Baker High schools. She says plans could change as the situation changes. You have to plan for all the different possibilities, mm -hmm. but we feel like we've, we've got to get started before we know what it may look like. So we're going to be very, very flexible. The superintendent tells me they are deep cleaning at night and they will be sanitizing throughout the day. I'm going to stick around and see as the kids start showing up here. See what the what the feeling is. Are people excited to be back? Are they wearing masks? Now, masks are optional here for students and staff, but we know they are strongly encouraged. And we've also seen some staff already parking and showing up for the day for school to start. First day of school in Baker County. Live in Baker County, Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side. I know a lot of students, Lee, are excited to get back to class and see all of their friends.